This is Twit. We should talk about reserve storage, which oh. is, as we've talked about on Windows Weekly, Paul calls it the least controversial, controversial feature. Uh, no, wait, uh, uh, wait. I think you did call it that because people were outraged. So many people were like, what? Microsoft's going to hold back seven gigs on my machine for for reserve sure. storage. I don't care that they're doing it to make updates better. I don't care if it's going to help people on storage constrained machines. But we think that is going to show up in, in 19 H1. Yeah, I, I guess I, I wouldn't. I'm not sure if it's the least controversial, but I, I think what I meant by that was. When you see a headline like Microsoft is going to reserve another seven gigabytes of disk space so you yeah. can have a better experience installing the next update, you can generate the headlines immediately. You know yep. <laughs> the kind of fake outrage that's going to occur because of that. So, yeah, I guess if you're still using a 32 gigabyte, you know, tablet from eight years ago or something, you, you might have some problems with that, obviously. But I, I don't think for most people this is a big, big deal. Um, this will trigger the same you know, knee-jerk uh, articles you always see around this kind of thing, like why 1,024 megabytes is not really a gigabyte and how uh, computer companies <laughs> change the, the the way they measure disk space and how it doesn't make any sense and how you buy a computer or phone or whatever it is that has some amount of data or uh, disk space rather and what you're really getting is this smaller amount and blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on. And on. But yeah, I, I whatever, you know. So I, I, yeah. I, I think for most people, honestly given the scheme that we're forced to live with, which is that Microsoft is going to update this stupid thing, whether you want it to or not. I'd rather have it go well, you know, frankly. And I think in this age of uh, cloud storage and whatnot, I, I think more and more people are starting not to hoard everything on one computer where they need all the storage. They are syncing it to the cloud and accessing the bits they need on individual computers. And so maybe just space is less... Mm -hmm important you know for some of us at least yeah so is there currently no storage set aside in windows for updates that's a good question i know um, I, i'm like i oh, actually don't know it? how it does it now i would guess that it t uh, reserves the storage as you go to download the update and that if you don't have enough it will warn you at that point and then you can run it they have a wizard type thing you can run to free up disk space but it, it seems like they're proactively doing this I, microsoft's goal of course is to download this thing in the background not tell you anything about it, right. get the install going and do everything it can do without rebooting and then kind of alert you at that point and say, hey, by the way, a quick reboot later, you're going to have a new version of Windows or whatever the update is. Mm. Um, and that sounds like a good experience, you know, <laughs> in theory. 